Have you ever wondered what happened in the first five minutes after the dinosaurs disappeared? Picture this, an asteroid hurtling through the vastness of space on a collision course with Earth. The size of this celestial object is mind-boggling. It's larger than Mount Everest, the highest peak on our planet. Imagine the speed at which this asteroid is traveling. It's moving at approximately 20 times the speed of a bullet, making its way towards a place that will later be known as the Chicxulub Crater, located in what is now modern-day Mexico. In an instant, the asteroid slams into the Earth. The impact is cataclysmic. The energy released from this collision is equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, a force so great that it literally reshapes the face of our planet. In the blink of an eye, the impact site becomes an enormous crater over 100 miles wide. The ground around it is vaporized, instantly turning into a plume of superheated gas and dust. This material is thrown outwards with such force that it reaches the edge of space before falling back to Earth. The immediate aftermath of the impact is just as dramatic. The shock wave from the collision ripples outwards, shaking the Earth to its very core. Earthquakes and tsunamis, more powerful than anything we've known in human history, are triggered across the globe. In the first few minutes following the impact, the world as the dinosaurs knew it is drastically, irrevocably changed. The sky darkens, the air is filled with dust and debris, and a wave of intense heat sweeps across the planet. The dinosaurs, creatures that had dominated the Earth for over 160 million years, suddenly find themselves in a world that's rapidly becoming hostile to life as they know it. Their reign, it seems, is coming to an abrupt end. So an asteroid hit Earth, creating a crater and releasing enormous energy. But what happened next? In the seconds following the impact, the heat generated was so intense that it caused a global firestorm. Imagine a heat so fierce, it could ignite the world in an instant. That's precisely what happened around 66 million years ago, when a massive asteroid slammed into our planet. This catastrophic event released an unfathomable amount of energy, equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. The heat from this impact was so intense, it set the world aflame. Forests, grasslands, and every conceivable vegetation erupted into a global blaze. It was as if the Earth had turned into a colossal bonfire. Now imagine being a dinosaur, a mighty T-Rex, or an agile velociraptor witnessing this global firestorm. The heat alone would be unbearable, but the real danger was the wildfires. The flames would race across the land at unimaginable speeds, leaving nothing untouched in their wake. For the dinosaurs that didn't perish in the initial impact, the subsequent fires would have been a deadly foe. But it wasn't just the dinosaurs that suffered. All life forms, from the smallest insects to the largest mammals, were caught in this fiery maelstrom. The air filled with smoke, making it difficult to breathe, while the intense heat made survival nearly impossible. And yet life is resilient. Even amidst the raging fires, some creatures managed to survive. They burrowed underground, hid in caves, or took refuge in the water. These survivors, against all odds, lived to see another day. But the firestorm was just the beginning. The heat from the impact didn't just cause fires, it also caused massive evaporation of water bodies. The water vapor, along with soot and dust from the fires, rose into the atmosphere. This created a deadly cocktail that would have dire consequences for our planet. And just as the world was burning, another disaster was brewing in the skies. The fallout from the firestorm was about to cast a long, deadly shadow over Earth, threatening to extinguish all life. This was the dawn of the dust cloud, an era of darkness that would last for years. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's remember the firestorm, a testament to the destructive power of nature. As if a global firestorm wasn't enough, the impact also threw trillions of tons of dust and debris into the atmosphere. Imagine, if you will, a curtain of dust, so thick and all-encompassing that it blots out the sun entirely. That's what the dinosaurs and other life forms on Earth were facing in the moments after the impact. This dust cloud created what is often referred to as a nuclear winter effect. The term might sound a bit dramatic, but it's pretty accurate. With the sun's rays blocked by the dust, the temperature on the surface of the Earth would have dropped rapidly. 
We're not just talking a chilly day here. We're talking freezing temperatures that would have been a shock to the system of any creature used to the balmy tropical climate of the late Cretaceous period. But the drop in temperature was just one part of the problem. The other was the lack of sunlight for photosynthesis. Plants, as we know, need sunlight to grow. No sun, no photosynthesis, no photosynthesis, no plants. And no plants means no food for the herbivorous dinosaurs that relied on them. And it wasn't just the herbivores that were affected. The carnivorous dinosaurs, who relied on the herbivores for food, would have also been hit hard. It's a domino effect, you see. One species goes down, and it takes others with it. And yet, despite the harsh conditions, life found a way to cling on. Some dinosaurs, the ones we now know as birds, managed to survive. They adapted, evolved, and carried on. But even as the world was plunged into darkness, the story was far from over. The dust cloud wasn't the only thing the impact sent skywards. As the colossal asteroid collided with Earth, a cascade of devastating after-effects followed. Among these was the release of sulfur and other toxic gases catapulted into the atmosphere by the immense force of the impact. These gases did more than just cloud the sky, they transformed into a deadly downpour, a phenomenon we call acid rain. Acid rain is not your typical shower. It's a corrosive cocktail of water and acidic compounds, a lethal mix that can cause serious harm to many forms of life. Imagine, if you will, a relentless rain that burns and corrodes everything it touches. That was the reality for the dinosaurs and other creatures that had survived the initial impact and the subsequent firestorm. This lethal rain had a profound impact on the world. It seeped into the soil, contaminating the land. It filled the rivers and lakes, turning fresh water sources into acidic pools. It fell into the vast oceans, drastically altering their chemistry and making it a hostile environment for marine life. For the dinosaurs, the effects were catastrophic. Their habitats were destroyed, their food sources poisoned. The acid rain scarred their bodies, causing painful burns and injuries. It was a slow, torturous end for these mighty beasts a grim contrast to their reign as the planet's dominant creatures. And it wasn't just the dinosaurs. The acid rain decimated countless species, triggering a mass extinction event. The biodiversity of the planet took a massive hit, with many life forms disappearing forever. But nature, as always, found a way. Amidst the devastation, some life forms adapted. They evolved to survive in this new, harsh world. These survivors would become the ancestors of all life on Earth today, a testament to the resilience of life in the face of overwhelming adversity. In just five minutes, the world as the dinosaurs knew it had ended. Yet, life found a way to endure, to evolve, and to start anew. In the aftermath of these catastrophic events, the dinosaurs disappeared. A long, silent night fell upon the world, marking the end of an era, the Cretaceous period. The robust and mighty dinosaurs, which had reigned supreme for over 160 million years, were no more. Their thunderous roars, once echoing across the vast landscapes, were replaced by the eerie silence of a world in recovery. But extinction is a part of life, as much as birth and death. It's a harsh yet inevitable truth of existence. The dinosaurs, despite their grandeur and might, were not immune to this universal law of nature. Their disappearance, while tragic, was not the end of life on Earth. Rather, it marked the beginning of a new chapter in the Earth's evolutionary saga. In the wake of the dinosaurs' disappearance, the Earth was an open stage. The curtains were drawn and the surviving species stepped into the spotlight. Small, burrowing creatures, insects and marine life, which had managed to survive the catastrophic aftermath, began to multiply and diversify. Life, as it always does, found a way to persist and endure. Over time, the earth began to heal. The climate stabilized, forests grew back, and the oceans teemed with life once more. The survivors of the great extinction evolved, filling the vacant niches left by the dinosaurs. Among these survivors were the mammals who, over the course of millions of years, came to dominate the earth. These mammals diversified into countless forms, adapting to every corner of the earth. From the depths of the oceans to the highest mountain peaks, from the freezing poles to the scorching deserts, they thrived and flourished. 
and among these mammals, a particular species evolved with a unique trait, intelligence. This species, known as Homo sapiens, would go on to build civilizations, explore the cosmos, and ponder the mysteries of existence. So, the next time you look up at the sky, remember the day the sky fell and gave rise to a new era, an era that brought us into existence, and an era that continues to shape our destiny.